Chase Lee Hockey with the Bullet Bluton out of the box or out of the wall, whatever you want to call it. We have what? Oh, so close. Four lions. What are these four lions about? Are you going to be one of the four lions? I really don't think you want to be. Maybe, maybe an elephant. Wolf? Who knows? <laughs> So four lines, which is about the very simple premise. Actually, we have these four to five Muslim characters that are in Britain and they want to become terrorists. Will they become terrorists? Are they even good at their job? Let's find out. So did I like this movie? A movie like this in 2011 with terrorists and trying to make the dark comedy would be extremely hard to pull off. And this movie pulls it off pretty well, but some of the stuff doesn't work in my opinion. So with that, I'll go with the negatives first. Some of the negatives are the character voices. As a person in the USA, I couldn't understand half that British accent sometimes. I'm like, what are they saying? And you know, you're just like, they're speaking extremely fast. You're just like, whoa, 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 calm down. I have no idea what your argument is about. Is it about bunnies? Is it about chickens? Is it about where you're going to blow up? I don't know what you're trying to go with. And then as well as some of the humor. Some of the humor just isn't uh, quick. Some of it is very, very dark. You're just like, oh, we are going there. And some of it, you're like, oh, that's kind of funny, but it is what it is of what we are trying to do. Uh, other than that, you know, some of the back characters, you're like, they're just kind of disposable. And th- I do wish some of the scenarios in, like, Pakistan went along a little bit longer to know what's flushing out at this terrorist camp and doing stuff like that. But other than those small nitpicks of, you know, some of the character choices, some of the characters' dialogue, understanding what they're saying and wishing some stuff was a little bit more fleshed out. It is a bombastic, weird comedy that is absolutely not for everyone. If you don't like this type of dark comedy, which it literally goes to like someone giving a homework to someone and the person he's giving the homework to has a bomb and you know what's going to happen. People are going to blow up. It isn't uh, gory or anything like that. There is some aftermath of like some shoes on the ground or some glasses on the ground. So if you're expecting some like Patriots Day kind of gore and like realistic stuff. This is not the movie for you. This is going to be straight up rated R for just language. And that is the extremely smart thing to do because if you're going to go in this political satire territory about terrorism in the UK, you kind of have to like know where to put the brakes. And this movie does it at the right times, even though there are some stuff where you're like, oh, we're still going there and people are actually dying and we're supposed to try to laugh at it. You're just like, ooh, I kind of feel bad. And it's one of those movies where you're like, oh, it's kind of funny, but you feel bad for laughing at the same time. But it's directed pretty well. It does some weird shots, though, where you're like focusing on a building and it like zooms in randomly for no reason. You're just like, what is actually happening here? And there is a subplot with the police and then the brother. And you're just kind of confused where that is going and why the police thought it was this person instead of this other person. Because there is some, you know, b-roll footage of you know people looking through windows in night vision glasses or night vision goggles so you're like okay you must be looking at them but you're not you're looking at this family but you're not really understanding why that is so overall four lines is a fun time it is not for everyone though if you don't like dark comedy if you think this premise is just too much for you you're probably not going to like it this is bombastic it goes places that even i was like oh should we really go there and as being an American, some of that British accent stuff, I couldn't understand a single thing they were saying. So four lines will receive a three and a half out of five blue futons, which equals that 70%. So we'll see the critics new scores gave this one. So if critics at 83% with 138 of them, audience score an 80% with over 10,000. Here's critic consensus. A premise suggests blatantly tasteless humor, but four lines is actually a smart pitch black comedy that carries the unmistakable ring of truth you have to agree i mean yeah the synopsis is about right there is some stuff like i said though where you're just like yeah there is some truth to it and just some people are just stupid all around so do you agree with the 80 the 83 or the 70 chase sock with the blue futon like comment subscribe let me know what you think it's moving on to help you you blue tony and thank you for watching and have a great day peace and love to every single one of you have a fantastic day and get ready for those steelbook giveaways they are coming hard and fast (laughs) 